Welcome to the QMind Quick Start Guide to Managing Your Community or Panel. To begin with, on the left hand side you can see the tool community and you can click on the drop down and you will find a series of tools available to community or panel platform users. The first and perhaps one of the most important tools sits under statistics. By clicking on statistics, you will see a screen such as the current. This will provide you key performance indicators about your community or panel, such as total size, new members, and subscribes. It will also allow you to track the response rate of your community or panel. In this case, you can see there is a response rate of near 77% with key information and raw counts. The trended analysis, such as new subscribers, will allow you to see where you have lots of new recruits across any given time period. The active panelist chart will allow you to see when activity is rising in your member base on your community or panel and when it is dipping and this will help indicate where there may be lower activity happening on your community or panel and allow you to take appropriate action by stimulating members making them more active by running more tasks and making more research studies available to them you can filter the view of information by day, week, month, year, and apply. Further, you can compare periods of time by selecting compare and then specifying the period for which you want to provide your comparison. Once applying, you will see a split screen allowing you to compare different periods of activity within your community or panel. Simply click single view to exit, compare. Select individual surveys to understand what is happening within different individual surveys in terms of response rates, email sent and actual completed interviews. Within the community tool area, we have options such as panelists, Panelists will allow you to view individual member profiles on your community or panel. It will enable you to change passwords, names, emails, should any of your members request to do so. This feature is available within community and panel websites for your members to do this themselves. Further reports include IDLE, which will indicate inactive members on your community, allowing you to take any actions such as reaching out and asking to re-engage with your members. Suspected files will show any members which have been identified as potential survey cheaters or other bad data participators. Points management will enable you to view any points against any member which is being accumulated through activities that they are participating in. The QMind platform allows you to automate a series of points which can be determined upon onboarding and setup, which you can allocate to respondents based on tasks that they complete within your community or panel. Trended claim points will allow you to track peaks and troughs of when points are being collected by your members. Options to export this information are available on screen. If you have an incentivization program such as prize draws, you will also be able to view reports on who is claiming and when they are making their points claims. Please speak to your customer success person for further information on this toolkit. The discussions option in the menu will allow you to add new forums to your community or panel website if you have this feature enabled. You can edit existing forums by selecting the forum and clicking edit on screen. Adding a new topic is as straightforward as clicking on add topic and then filling in the topic subject 
and text and selecting an image. The ability to set specific rules or behaviours for the forum include allowing notifications to be sent to respondents taking part to allow them to see responses to their comments, the ability to create an area which is a private one-on-one -on -one discussion between the moderator and the respondent, the ability to require approval of any posts or comments made by your community manager, the ability to show forums at particular times and dates, and other options are available in the list with descriptions. You have the ability to look at statistics for your forums, which includes numbers of posts, views, etc. by selecting the forum and clicking on more and statistics. A term analyzer is available, which uses AI sentiment analysis to classify open-ended comments in your forums for further directional analysis. For further information on the Tone Analyzer AI Sentiment Analysis Tool, please consult the relevant guide. Any forums created in this environment, added or edited, will automatically be edited in the Respondent Community or Panel website. Polls will give you access to available poll positions, allowing you to add in new polls or edit existing polls. Please consult the relevant poll creating guide for further information. Content will allow you to edit areas of text within your community or panel website which have been made available during setup for editing. Simply select the named area you wish to edit, click on the free available dots and edit. The news area is an option which may or may not be enabled in your community or panel website where monthly or however frequent news you wish to relay to your members can be posted. In this example we have monthly prize draw winners. Edit existing posts by selecting the option and clicking edit or add new news by clicking add news. Once saved, this will automatically appear within your website or panel area. It will be available to respondents. Reports will enable you to run a series of different reports on your community or panel member database. Reports include active forum users, active panelists per month, aggregated monthly activity, so on and so forth. You will be able to export panelist details, look at survey response rates, and latest activities on your community or panel. Select the report and apply to run a analysis. You have options available to export the information into Excel. For further information, please consult the community tools area of the support wiki or speak to your